So yeah, um, is this going to be coming out around Halloween as well? No. Are we sure? Don't know. Could you scare the out of me, audience? Do like a little... <laughs> and then you rah. No, yeah. don't don't go rah, but you know. Boo. Halloween, which is a bit of a joke. What isn't a joke, Alpha have got brand new products. This is the new G3 range. We thought it was a facelift. It's not a facelift. It's new products, loads of features. We're gonna review everything you need to know about this brand new battery range and a new inverter. Let's get into it. Now, first things just to cover off, who are Alpha? Because if you're watching this and you've not seen this brand before, well, you are not to blame because this is a massive brand, like 250,000 systems installed worldwide. But marketing wise, a little bit on the quiet front, they're changing it and we need to help them get this out because it is such a good product. We want to tell you all about it. Now, where it sits in the range is it is not in that cheap Fox or Grow What. Green Link sort of systems. It's above that. It's not quite up there with Tesla and SIG Energy, but it is a great place to be. It's reliable, it's high performance, and it's affordable. And just for clarity, they're not paying me for this review. I mean, Alpha, if you are watching this and you want to you know, give us some money for the review, we'll say whatever you want us to say. But I actually have Alpha in my property. I bought it before we even ever spoke to them. I still got it. I think it's brilliant. So I'm super excited about these new products because this is a brand that is a favorite of mine. Right, let's crack on with what is actually new. Well, this is still the G3 range of batteries. This range has been around for about 12 or 18 months, but we have three new products joining the lineup. We have two of them here, this battery, and this battery, there is a new inverter. We don't have it here yet because it's not actually out yet, but we do have some B-roll of it. We'll put that on screen in a moment. So let's start with this one here. This is the 4.8 module, the entry level battery. The rated capacity is 4.8 kilowatt hours, but the usable capacity is 4.56. Now, how can I explain how this works? Well, if you think of like a bottle of water, 500 mils, if you try and drink that water, you won't get all the water out the bottle. There'll still be some left. It's the same with batteries. You have a total capacity and you have a usable capacity. So on this 4.8, it is 4.8. Five, six. Now, when Alpha sent us the original notification that the battery modules were changing, they were like, look, there's some capacity changes. There's a few new features. We then get the brochure. We're going through it, going through the data sheets, thinking, hang on a minute, there's loads of stuff in here. Contact the technical team and they were like, oh yeah, we've got loads of new features. Let's run through them. Let's go through them now. So first one's safety. Now the battery chemistry inside the Alpha G3 range, it's lithium iron and it's LF. P. Now, LFP lithium is the safest version of lithium. It's the most stable, but Alpha have some additional protection measures in there if you do find yourself in a fault situation. Now, the first one is that the BMS, the battery management system, which is controlling the battery, has got multiple sensors placed around the cells. These sensors are reading temperatures and data inputs, and if it starts to spot an issue, it will shut the battery down. Now, if it shuts the battery down and there's still a problem, then the battery has a PRV, a pressure release valve. When batteries start to fault, they start to release gas and that gas can build up and the gas is combustible. So the alpha will release the pressure out of the battery. And if all else fails, it has an aerosol extinguisher system built in. Now the idea here is to stop the battery from getting into a thermal runaway or in a really bad situation. If it does go into thermal runaway, the aerosol's not gonna be able to stop it, but Alpha have got lots of protections in place to prevent us from getting there. Now you wouldn't normally see this on a battery of this price point. When you think about the competitors from a price perspective, they're just giving you straight up lithium in a box with a basic BMS. The alpha system is super advanced. The next notable difference is the battery voltage. So normally, again, batteries at this price point, they're gonna be about 50 volts. This is a high voltage unit, 96 volts out of the battery. Now, what higher voltage batteries do is they make the conversion process more efficient because it's got more energy to work harder. And also, um, 
and they also last longer because the battery essentially has more power. Let's move on to the second battery. It's this one here and it's the 9.6. Now, 9.6 nominal capacity, usable capacity is 9.5 kilowatt hours. So the same story as the 4.8, it's a little bit lower than the badged capacity. Now there is a slight difference when it comes to the cell structure. And that's because the 4.8 module is something called a 1C battery and the 9.6 is a half C battery. What does this mean? Well, it's all to do with charge and discharge rates. So 1C batteries can charge at the rated capacity. So if this had a five kilowatt inverter, it could charge and discharge at 4.8 kilowatts. This one is a half C battery. So the 9.6 can charge at four and a half, what's, what's 9.6 I've added to? 4.8. The 9.6 is a half C battery, so that can charge at 4.8 kilowatts. Now, the reason they have done this is on smaller capacity batteries, on cheaper models, they'll be half C cells. And when they're half C, if you had a 4.8 with a five kilowatt inverter, you could only actually charge it at like 2.4 kilowatts. Obviously, now we can do 4.8. And speaking about those new 1C battery cells, it's only fitting that we take a look at the brand new eight kilowatt inverter that will be able to take full advantage of that boosted charge rate. And it even has a little screen. This is the new eight kilowatt inverter that we've been waiting for for about two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But got a lot of customers have got these on pre-order. Yeah. I didn't realize it was the eight because it's got a screen. It has, it has. That's like the old V... Smile 5. Smile 5. Smile, Smile 5. Smile 5. So the screen will just give you the headlines. Yes. So rather than just uh, lights flashing like the existing inverter battery yeah. in terms of errors, if there is any errors or in terms of setup, you'll be able to do it for the screen. So installers love them, to be fair. Eight kilowatts of power. Eight kilowatts of power. So your model range is? In single phase, 368. Five and now eight. Now eight. So that's in really stock. powerful. Isn't in it? stock. Yeah, in it's stock. Like, and you like... can do continuous output at eight. Yes, on you this. can. Continuous output at eight. So if you go back to the one C cell scenario, yeah. what you can see here now, we've got two batteries which make nine point six of uh, storage. Sure. So in an hour you can fill it in you can go eight kilowatts of power in an hour. Because they're one C cells. Right, fantastic. We actually filmed a whole video here at Solar and Storage Live, and we had a chance to chat to a lot of people much smarter than me. If you're curious, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you don't miss when that video goes up. For now though, let's get back to the studio. So we finished with the brochure and we thought that's everything that we needed to know about these brand new batteries. And then we spotted something else they have heating packs built in. So lithium LFP, when it goes below zero degrees, it will turn off to protect the cells, but built into both batteries, so on the 9.6 and the 4.8, there are heating pads built in to keep the battery at a temperature it can function. So if you're gonna have your battery outside, especially in the UK when we get pretty cold winters, your battery will stay working when other people's LFP batteries will have shut down. Now, when it comes to specking the battery for your property, you've got a choice between going for the 9.6 cells or those 4.8, but you can have multiples of both. You can't mix and match them, so you can't have a 4.8 with a 9.6, but what you can have is four 4.8s or up to four, that would give you 19.2 kilowatt hours of nominal capacity. And then you can have four of the 9.6s and the math for that is, Thirty-eight point six, is it? Thirty-eight point four. That's close. You can have up to four of the nine point sixes, which would give you thirty-eight point. I forgot the number, which would give you thirty-eight point four kilowatt hours of capacity. Now, what is really cool about Alpha as well is that their batteries have a really advanced BMS. If you had four of those 4.8, so the maximum capacity, 19.2, then the smart EMS, which is called Lynx X, I think, in Alpha's system, it will manage each battery cell. So lithium is an organic material and all batteries are a little bit different. What the Lynx X system does 
is supply the right amount of power and charge to each battery to balance the system. So what you don't do is end up overcharging one of the batteries and damaging it if it doesn't have enough capacity. This EMS is super advanced and it will divert the power to the places it needs to be. What is also really cool is if you have one module fail, there is an auto bypass built in from that smart EMS. So the whole battery system will not go down. It will just jump past that battery and give you the rest of the capacity that is left in the system. And as these are high voltage batteries and that smart EMS will wire them in series, every time you add another battery the voltage doubles it gets more efficient every time you add an additional battery module now because that ems is so advanced alpha have also been able to improve the cycle limit on the batteries themselves so again those cheaper batteries are probably going to be around six thousand cycles for their lifetime because of the smart ems because of the smart ems alpha have increased that to 10 thousand cycles now cycles are going to come into something really important in a minute because we're going to move on to this the new inverter this is the third new product highlights were it's eight kilowatts charge and discharge and you can have up to 120 percent pv so you can have 10 kilowatts of pv from your roof into that inverter now i mentioned before about cycle limits and how alpha have increased it on this battery from 6000 to 10000 and i said that there was something important about that well the important bit is these inverters are now integrated into the kraken energy system this is the system that runs octopus's network but it also powers some of the other big six energy retailers in the uk and what kraken does is it can do half hourly settlement. So if there is moments when energy prices are really cheap, sometimes they're like negative energy prices or the grid is paying big prices for export, this system can dial in automatically and manage import and export all on your behalf. And the benefit of having a high cycle limit is you're not gonna go over the cycle limit of the battery doing all of this energy trading. Now, the benefit for the customer is you're gonna have a system that can talk to Kraken that can take advantages of these big tariff swings. And when these tariff swings are happening, your battery is gonna automatically play the best game. It's gonna earn you the most money, and what you're not gonna do is overstress your system, especially on the 4.8 when you've got that 1C battery. If you've just got one of them, we can export all of it at the rated capacity. We're not stuck to the half C rule on the 9.6. It's not gonna be an issue because 9.6 is already gonna discharge at like 4.8 anyway. Right, let's talk about price and warranty. So starting with a 4.8 kilowatt hour battery, you're gonna be able to buy that, including VAT, for about 12 to 1400 pounds, depending on who you buy it from in the UK. When it comes to the 9.6, you're gonna be in the early 2000 range. And for that inverter, you should be able to buy that with the meter or the CT clamp that you need for about 1,200 quid. So these price points are super competitive, especially when you compare the features of this product against some of those entry level Bogo basics. Now, this is one of the reasons that we fit this product at Heatable. It is affordable, it is super reliable, and now it is feature packed and all this is backed by a 10 year warranty on both the inverter and the battery modules themselves. As a bit of a celebration to launch this product, we have an offer on the Heatable website where we're doing three for two on the 4.8 kilowatt hour modules. So if you buy 9.6, which is two 4.8s, we will give you an extra module making 14.4 kilowatt hours for free. Now this saves you over £1,250 when you're purchasing your system. It's only a limited time offer. If you head to the website, all the details are on there. Right, positives. You've got really high spec equipment for a really affordable price point. You've got a range of inverters, 3.68, 5 kilowatt, and that brand new 8 kilowatt and you've now got two high performance, high voltage batteries with all those safety features built in. So the 4.8 and the 9.6. Now this is all looking really, really good. And another benefit 
is that these systems are super reliable. We have over a thousand of them online in the alpha server and the failure rate is almost non-existent. Now there is some downsides to these products and we need to go over those now. First one is that you can't mix and match the 9.6 and the 4.8. Because this is a half C battery and that is a one C battery, they're not compatible. Now we did speak to the engineers when we went to solar storage in live and they said they are working to make them cross compatible. But right now in the UK, you cannot do this. And the other thing is when it comes to backup, there is no full off grid gateway available. There is a UPS outlet on the inverter, which is the same rating as the inverter power if you went for the five kilowatt version you'd have five kilowatts of power but it's not a full gateway system you'd have to wire that into some dedicated circuits now there is some good news here though which is allegedly they are bringing a gateway to the UK they're expecting it early 2026 and if they have one I'll be having one for my house and I'll be doing a review to tell you all about it so if that comes out we've only left with one negative you can't mix and match those batteries. And that's it, we're done. It's Friday, it's time to go home. But before we do, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Any questions, drop a comment below and check, are you subscribed to the Heatable YouTube channel? Because if you're not subscribed, then you'll miss videos like this one. And when you do subscribe, it helps us get more content out there for you guys to watch. So please check you are subscribed and we'll see you on the next one. What? What do you mean? Starfleet. Yeah, can you have the world, can you? I can't. Oh, like, boo. <laughs> <laughs>